Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Download the notes at kcm.org slash notes. Welcome everybody to the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. I'm Kenneth Copeland. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, thank you for your word today. We open our hearts. We open our minds. We open our, our eyes and ears to see and hear. And we thank you. We release our faith in your word, in the name of Jesus. We receive it and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Now listen, 25 days of gifts every day from now until Christmas. Just go to kcm.org slash 25 days. And, and um, all, all of these things are 25 gifts, excuse me. All of these things are KCM products. They're not little, little trinkets of some kind. They're, they're all things that'll help build your faith and build your prayer life and develop, help develop uh, in the things of God. This, these things are, are inner man issues. These are not physical issues. If this was a natural training program, the things that we would have would be to naturally train the physical part of it. But these are spiritual things and they help train the spirit man which is the life of God source is in the spirit man. And without the spirit man, the physical man suffers. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. So, hey, get your Christmas gifts, what I'm trying to tell you. It's free and glory, and I want to sow it into your life every day of Christmas. Praise God. Now then, Brother Bill, yes, get sir. us back in this. We, we, we're coming over here to Hebrews and chapter 10 and verse 35. Glory to God. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. For you have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. So the just shall live by faith. It's not, uh, oh, I guess I better use my faith. No, 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 no. This is all day, every day. Every day. This is what you do for a living. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> now, you said, what was it yesterday? You said, this is our profession. Profession. Here it is right here yeah, it's right there. in verse 23. Look what it says. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Now, you say, well, that's, you know, that profession, confession. confession. Yeah, sure. Well, yeah. But... That's, that's what you do lifestyle. for a living. That's the last, that's our living, right? I there. am a, uh, I am a sports, I'm a, prof, uh, I'm in professional sports. What does that mean? That's my profession. That, that, that's what I do for a living. Well, uh, what do you do? Well, I'm a doctor. I'm a lawyer. I'm a teacher. Uh, I'm, I'm a salesman. I'm, I, I'm in the ministry. What, all of those things have to do with what you call to do. Our profession is faith. That's what we live. That's what we do. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. What is that commercial going around now? This is just what you do. You do. <laughs> this is what we do, man. <laughs> but we've got to really renew our minds to address all of the issues that we have in this life in faith, because God continues to lead us from faith to faith, and He continues to lead us in places that perhaps do look impossible. Here's a man, a madman of Gadara, who was on the other side when they arrived there in the ship. Well, he was mad. I mean, they said nobody can hold him with chains, nobody can hold him with fetters. I mean, and, and they couldn't hold him naturally. Humanly, this man was lost, he was gone. But Jesus came. Mm -hmm. And he came and delivered this man. This man was seen and found sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right in mind. In his right mind. <laughs> Doesn't that bless you? Oh. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. But, but notice, 
the enemy. Somebody <laughs> just released faith right then mm. for a family member Praise that has God. been out of, of their, their mind. mind mm. And you have had little to no hope for them until right that moment and your faith worked. Now, don't turn it loose. Don't turn it loose. Don't let go of that. It is not a hopeless situation. Jesus is now working since you released your faith. Ah, Glory to God. And that's that with that patience, faith and patience. You inherit the promise. This thing is going to come. You got to be steady on it. Just stay right there. So when you're talking about living by faith, I looked it up and, and I look up in James. Let's go to James yes. chapter five, since it's close by. Over in James chapter five, he says this. He says, verse 14, is any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church and let him pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if it be any sins, he'll be forgiven. The prayer of faith. And a lot of times people think faith makes, they think prayer makes faith work. That's not true. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Is no, no. faith makes prayer, prayer work. work. Yeah. Now, here, here's an example. Now, I'd like you to see this. This is found in 2 Kings chapter 18. If you go over there with me, 2 Kings chapter 18. Now, what happened here is Hezekiah is being besieged by the enemy. The enemy is coming in and he's trying to take over and so forth. Now, Hezekiah is out of ideas here. As a matter of fact, if you look at 2 Kings chapter 19, it says here, and it says the, the, in 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 10, and thus shall you speak unto Hezekiah, the king of Judah, saying, let not the God, thy God whom you trusted deceive you, saying, uh, 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 yes, yes. Uh, 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 wait, just, just, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Yeah, yeah. Okay, deceive you saying, Jerusalem shall not be delivered unto your, the, the hand of the king of Assyria. Behold, thou hast heard what the king of Assyria has done unto the, all lands by destroying them utterly and shall thou be delivered? Have the God of the nations delivered them which my father has destroyed in Gozan and Haran and Rizaph, praise God, and the children of Eden which were in Thesar. So what happened? Here is Hezekiah and at verse 14, he received a letter from the hand of the messengers and read it and, and Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. Where did he get the letter from? In verse six, Isaiah said, said unto them, thus, saith, um, thus shall you say unto your master, thus saith the Lord, be not afraid of the words which you've heard with which the servants of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me. Behold, I will send a blast upon him and he shall hear a rumor and shall return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. So Hezekiah's embassy or his staff went and got a word from the prophet. And the prophet gave them a word and he brought the word back. Then Hezekiah took the word up into the temple and spread it before the Lord. Yes, sir. And prayed it. Once he prayed it, Look what happened down here in verse 20. Then Isaiah, the son of Amos, said to Hezekiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, That which you have prayed to me against Sennacherib, king of Assyria, I have heard. Now, how do we know he hears us? The Bible talks about in 1 John chapter 5, yes, verse 14, this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know we have the petition we desired of him. The petitions. The petition. He petitioned him with that letter. That, yeah. that's, that, that is no different. This is, this is a letter. These are letters. You told me this one time. One of the number one jobs of the prophet is to give you something to say. That's I'll it. Never forget you said that. Yes, sir. This prophet gave the king something to say. He believed it. He believed it. He believed it was from God. That's exactly so right. So he took, 
He took that yes, letter, sir. and that's what we got here. Yes, sir. He took it in there and he spread it out before God. And prayed it. And he prayed what God said, and faith came. He, he, um, now look, look at the results. Look at the results. I want to see this. This, this, this I got to show you this. Look at, this is powerful. <laughs> look at, look at Second Kings chapter, chapter 19 and verse 35. Yes, sir. And it came to pass that night. That night. That night that the angel of the Lord went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians a hundred and fourscore and five thousand. And when wow. they arose up early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. 185,000 people. That is so powerful. Now, th this, Think is, about that. this is faith working. Now, notice what didn't work. It says when they arose. That means somebody prayed and went to bed. Yeah. Glory to God. Yes, you sir. can pray and go to sleep and let the faith do your work. And that's what they did. Let's take, <laughs> let, let, let's, <laughs> let's take uh, this very thing, yeah. no, this, sure. this very same action. Mm -hmm. First John 5, we have the petitions that we desired of him. Yes, sir. Let, let's, let's take the same process. And Jesus gave us step by step by step how to do it. He said, whosoever yes, indeed. shall say to this mountain, be, be thou, thou removed, removed, and not doubt in his heart. So what's he got to pray? What's he got to believe? He believed those things which he says Thanks. are coming to pass. Now, where did he get what he said? He got it out of here. Right the here. petition that he laid it's, before him. It's right here. And then since he believed that this is from God, these words are from God, and he believed what he said is coming to pass. While I pray, I believe, I receive it. I take it. It's a done deal. But then there's one more step. And if you have all against any, forgive. forgive. You can't skip that step. We, we gonna get into that thing pretty soon. But now he's made his petition. That's it. Get up and go to bed. Or spend the night praising God, once every one you want to do. But but the deal's done. If you if you handle it like that, the angels are gone to work. So, Brother Jesse said, our job is to believe God will do His job. <laughs> I like what he said. There. That's excellent. Man. <laughs> Isn't that that is so good. Oh my goodness! I said, whoa, that's it. See this? Now think about it. It'll work for a king. It'll work for a seventeen-year-old. It'll work for anybody because faith does the work. Oh, it's, well, yeah. It, that's what the angels are doing. And what we read yesterday? That's exactly When Jesus right. said, and it should obey you. Yeah. And then he said, a servant. So he's talking about faith as your servant. servant. God gave you that as a tool with which to work. Yeah, exactly. And then when he, uh, and it, you speak to the sycamine tree. Yeah. yeah. According to Mark 11, 23. Right. It's a tree or a mountain. Yes, speak sir. to the thing. Yes, sir. And then it will obey you. What it? The sycamine tree? No, the sycamine tree obeyed the faith. That's the faith is the servant. servant. That, that is powerful right there, Brother Copeland. Now, hey, think, let's think, let's think about that, uh, uh, Bill. Somebody said, uh, boom, what happened? Wow, somebody blew up a bus. Really? Yeah. Go out there and this bus just all to pieces. Who blew up the bus? Well, is that guy over there? They arrested him. No, the guy didn't blow up the bus. Okay. The dynamite blew up the bus. Mm -hmm. But the man controlled the dynamite. Let's take a firearm. Who shot a hole in the back of the car? <laughs> that guy in that blue. <laughs> no, no. See. No, the, the, the tool that he was using, With that rifle thing. he had the, <laughs> he pulled the trigger. He's the one that pulled the trigger. But then he dropped the hammer, which hit the cap, which fired the powder, which produced the gas, which drove the bullet out the front end of the gun, which hit the back of the car and made a hole in it. Well, but the man pulled the trigger. The power was in his hand to do it. The power 
of God that moves mountains just needs to be triggered. <laughs> and, when, when he, when, and hey, man, shoo. Now, now let's look at this now, because I read the first scripture, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 35, cast not away therefore your confidence. Don't throw your gun in the creek. So, <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that something? Oh, let's look at that again, man. Uh, let's absorb that that's, in the book of Hebrews. That is it, that's mm. the key right there. You cast not away. See, the enemy is going to come after your confidence because if you read 2 Kings 8, 18 and 19, the Syrian soldier said, who is this that you're putting your confidence in? There you are. It's right here. There you are. Yeah. He's coming after confidence in that word. Yeah. Do you? Do you he's got he, he's, he's to get you looking somewhere else. My right? goodness, doesn't he? It says, Abraham considered not his body. Yet the debt or nor the deadness of Sarah's womb. God didn't come to Abraham till he couldn't have sex. I mean, that's when he came to him. He said, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. now you can't do it. It's over for you. It's over for you now. Now you let me do it. Now I'm going to bring you alive and I'm going to show you that I can do this thing. I, I'm only saying here that, hey, Stop thinking possible, impossible. No, 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 no. Anything that looks impossible and you consider that. Now, we've got the faith deception. of Abraham. That's the exact same faith. The scripture says that. That's the we same. have his we faith. We have his faith. Same Whoa. thing. And he says, Glory cast not a away your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. For you have need of patience that after you have prayed this, see, don't let anything shake you. The spiritual force oh, of patience, yeah. patience and faith, you see them, word, you see yeah, them together yeah. all the time yeah. in the scripture. That's, that is a spiritual force that works with faith. And it, it is spiritual endurance. Mm, yes. It's not just put up that's with, a, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, human yeah, faith, yeah, uh, patience. Yeah, that's it. I believed the word. That's where I got my confidence. Gotcha. I spoke it. Yes. And Satan going to come at me. Yeah. Well, I know that. He comes yeah. immediately yeah. to steal yeah. the, word. the word. If he can get the word, he's, he, oh, he, he'll, he'll pull you down. Mm. But that spiritual force, when I choose Mm. I make the choice in my soul, yeah. in my mind, mm. and in my emotional being. Yes. I make the choice. I'm not coming apart here. I mm. believe this today. It is done today. When I get up in the morning, it'll be just done then. It'll be just done 10 years from today. I will never turn loose of this. And that's what nah. you got to do. That's, that's, that's the attitude you got to have. What was it Brother Hagin used to say? When you prepare to stay forever, you ain't going to be there very long. Because mm -mm, the devil can see it. You Look what he says here in 1 John chapter 3. 1 John chapter 3. And look at verse 20. If our hearts condemn us, God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. Beloved, if our hearts condemn us not, then have we confidence toward God. Isn't it just like the enemy to try to use condemnation to sap your confidence in the fact that God's going to do this? He ain't going to do this for you, you ugly thing. You, you look how you did. Back in 1949, look, look what you did, so forth. Uh-uh. Those are called roadblocks to faith. And the enemy will throw them up. Fear and, and, and condemnation and, and sense of inferiority and all of those things, see, because faith is used to working. Now, you've done this over and over and over again. It ain't never come to pass. Now, what makes you think you're going to work <laughs> this time? Well, it's, that's what he did. Needle you, you know, uh, torment you. Something. He'll try to use something, especially, I found, that 
might you might buy. I tell people he'll take a flip chart yeah. and make a presentation to you. See, well, now your auntie, see, she believes the same way. Now look what happened to her. Yeah. Well, well, oh, you believe that? And just something that you'll say, well, let me consider that. Abraham considered not. Considered not. Now let's go to one more place. Let's go to Mark chapter, I know I'm moving pretty fast now. Mark chapter, uh, chapter uh, 11, please. Over in Mark chapter 11. And he says here, this is verse 22 to 24. I want you to see it. And Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things that he says shall come to pass, he'll have whatsoever he saith. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe you receive them, and you shall have them. And this man's way of showing that his faith was intact is that king, I believe, went to bed. Yeah. Well, Jesus said that. He gets up, goes to bed. It, 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 the the sea grows up exactly. night and day. He, he don't know how. Know how. Mm. He knows it's coming up. My goodness. I believe that, Bill. God dealing with some of you right now, mm. specifically with a man in the car business. And it looks like bankruptcy is the only thing you can do. If you will go get on your face before God and turn this thing over to him and, and enter into his rest, your business will get bigger than it has ever been because it's God that gave you the business in the first place. Praise God. I heard the word from the Lord say that. That's the prophet. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. That, that's the mm. word. Now, now, notice what he said in Mark 11, 24. Bill, we're the, out of time. We don't buy a lot. <laughs> <I'm telling laughs> but he's, read it anyway. Said, I don't care what the said, clock says. Therefore, I send you what things soever you desire when you pray, believe you receive them, you shall have them. That is a blank check, and it has nothing to do with what you can do by yourself. And he never asked you to pay for it. He asked you to believe, believe for, for it. it. <laughs> 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 oh, we'll be back in a minute. We hope you enjoyed this teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Download the notes at kcm.org slash notes.